<laughs> I got him. What's up guys? Today we're taking a look at the S200 Fire Rat Nerf Pistol from the company ZWQ. To be completely honest, this is my favourite foam dart pistol that I've ever used and it has some nice features that make it far superior to other options like the Dart Zone Pro Mark II for example. I was sent this blaster by the Retailer Monkey Mods, so those of you who watch my channel for a while will know I've got a discount code you can use with them at checkout. Although this thing is already really cheap at only 50 US dollars or about 70 Australian dollars. The S200 comes in a variety of different colours. You can get it in pink, tan, white, orange, green, or what they've sent me here, which is clear. There's even a recently launched colour scheme where they've replaced all of the black on the blaster with a baby blue colour, which should be more of a safe colour to use in a public space. If I had the choice, I would have personally probably picked the tan colour because I think it looks the coolest, but the clear works as well and allows me to kind of show you how the blaster works without fully disassembling it. Speaking of disassembly, when you buy this from Monkey Mods, it does come partially disassembled. Monkey Mods themselves have got a video up on their YouTube channel which will walk you through the process of fully disassembling and fully reassembling, so just start about halfway through and follow it from there. It's quite easy to put together and it took me about 20 minutes just watching their video. There are also some other retailers selling this who don't disassemble it before shipping. But I think disassembling it is the safest way to go to help get it through customs because this does have a more of a realistic look to it than most other Nerf blasters. Now the base model blaster shoots around 110 feet per second out of the box. However, Monkey Mods throw in an upgrade 1.6 spring which will take you straight to 140 and they also include upgraded catch springs because you'll need those when you're going up to the heavier springs. You can also get a 1.8 spring which is even stronger. And that'll take this thing to 155 feet per second. But with an RMR sight on here, I wanted to stick with the 1.6 because it's a little bit lighter to prime, especially with the two finger grip that I need to use with the sight on there. They also just didn't send me a 1.8 because it's not included with the blaster. But just know that I asked them what it shoots and it does about 155 according to their testing. The S200 is mag fed and uses a proprietary magazine. I love that they didn't try to make worker talons fit this pistol because if they had the grip would be ridiculously large. Instead it's a very comfortable grip, realistic in size and has a nice rubberized texture to it. At the bottom of the grip it also has a flared magwell which just makes it easier to insert your magazines. The magazines themselves are also really affordable. Monkey Mods has them listed on their site for only 5 USD or 7 Australian dollars. So I definitely wouldn't hesitate to buy an extra 3 mags to carry on my belt rig with me. Each mag holds 10 half length darts and my personal preference to load them with is the red worker darts. The S200 is a manually operated spring pistol. So with a mag inserted you simply rack the slide for each shot. The slide has two locking bars, one on either side. I found it very easy in operation to hit those with my thumb and index finger every time I cocked the blaster. The slide has a return spring, so when it's fully cocked back you can just let go of the slide and it'll close the breech and chamber a dart for you. And when the magazine's empty and you try and cock the blaster, it actually has a slide lock feature. So the slide stays open, you change your magazine out to a fresh one, then you can simply hit the slide release on the left hand side of the grip. It'll close the breech for you, chamber a dart and it'll be ready to fire. On this transparent version you can see the red anodized metal cylinder just above the trigger here. How the blaster works is the piston actually fires backwards. The catch is at the front of the blaster and linked all the way back to the trigger. So when you pull the trigger, it releases the piston pushing the air inside the cylinder back towards you. It then goes through a U-turn and then it hits the dart and pushes it out of the barrel. If you're familiar with the Lynx Bullpup Blaster that I've got one of them up on the wall just there, it's a very similar concept just scaled down to fit inside this pistol. 
Thanks. Another feature of the S200, one that I'd personally never use, but worth mentioning, is that if you hold the trigger in and cock the blaster, when the slide returns forward, it'll immediately fire. This feature is what's known as slam fire, and it allows rapid shooting at the expense of actually aiming the blaster. With only 10 shots in the magazine, I'd much rather aim than spray and pray, and it's not a feature I actually used at all in any of the gameplay that you'll see later on. Speaking of actually aiming though, I've mounted a miniature reflex sight on the top of the slide here. The slide has two holes already tapped for an RMR, but the screws on this particular one were slightly larger in diameter. So I used my RMR's larger screws to tap my own larger threads into the existing holes. I'll leave a link down below to this exact RMR since people are always asking what sights I use. If you don't want to mount an RMR, the blaster does have some nice fiber optic iron sights by default though. At the front of the blaster underneath, you'll notice it has a Picatinny rail, which you might notice on closer inspection, doesn't actually have any notches in it. Despite having no notches, I had absolutely no issues at all attaching my GoPro or my Olight flashlight. I think they went without notches because the trigger does run pretty close to the surface of the plastic here. Now, the stock model of the S200 is made mostly of nylon, although it does have a red anodized cylinder as well as a red anodized barrel. Some upgrade parts are available from Monkey Mods though, including a longer barrel, metal catch, metal slide catch, metal trigger, metal slide, and metal piston. These are pretty expensive compared to the base blaster though. I've been using the 1.6 spring with the blaster as it comes from Monkey Mods with no metal upgrades yet. I would recommend though that if you do go to the 1.8 upgrade spring, at least go with a metal catch. And it's nice to know that if any of these parts ever did break, there's metal upgrades available to replace those parts. The stock barrel has a 13mm internal diameter and a 16mm outer diameter. So if you wanted to experiment with different barrels, you easily could swap them out with any worker spec barrel. Just keep in mind that the barrel itself is a spring guide for the return spring of the slide, so I wouldn't use any soft materials like brass. Being a manual springer, the trigger pull is very short and instantaneous. And finally, one last accessory you can get for this pistol is a specially designed holster. If you're planning to run this blaster as a secondary, I definitely recommend getting the holster, although I'm sure it fits into most soft holsters as well. That pretty much covers the overview of the blaster though, so let's head outside now and shoot it over the chronograph to see how fast it's shooting with the 1.6 spring that's included when you buy this from Monkey Mods. With worker darts, I got a high of 149, low of 131, and an average of 137. Not a single shot dropped below 130 feet per second. Quite impressive for such a small Nerf pistol with such a light spring in it. Keep in mind though that the 1.8 spring should get you around 155 average. But now let's see how it shoots for accuracy. Okay, so let's see how this does at a distance of 15 meters. And if it does all right, we'll try back at 30 meters as well. Target is one meter in diameter. I'm gonna kind of rest the pistol on this table here so that I know I'm aiming at the exact same spot each time.
So at 15 meters, it hit every single shot. I do think the accuracy was a little lacking though compared to higher powered nerf blasters that actually have rifling. But for a pistol that most people would use as a sidearm, this is completely fine. Let's head back to 30 meters now and see if I can even hit the target at all. Oh, we managed to hit one. No, just missed to the left. Hit. Just went under it. Hit. 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 Too high. Like it wasn't even in the camera frame, I don't think. And that's it. Oh, we managed to hit one. No, nah, just missed to the left. Hit. Just went under it. Hit. 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 Too high. Like it wasn't even in the camera frame, I don't think. Too high again. And that's it. So I think with its lack of velocity and lack of rifling, this is much more suited to close range engagements like 15 meters rather than 30 meters. And in fact, I think the maximum range of this is probably about 30 meters. So what do I think of the ZWQ S200? Well, in terms of looks and functionality, it's definitely the coolest Nerf pistol that I've seen so far. The slide lock and empty, the automatic slide return to chamber your next dart, fiber optic iron sights and an easy mounting for an RMR sight. While also taking a 10 shot detachable magazine, I'd have to say the S200 is easily the best injection molded Nerf pistol currently available. Don't forget to check out monkey mods down below if you want to pick one of these up with an included 1.6 spring. Use my discount code BRAD on checkout for some savings. I'll leave you now with some gameplay footage using just this pistol against full auto 300 feet per second gel blasters. I actually did quite better than I expected I would, so like, comment, subscribe and all of that, and I hope you enjoy the gameplay. See ya. Okay guys, I think it goes without saying using a 140 feet per second manual 10 shot pistol against 300 FPS full auto gel blasters, I'm going to be quite surprised if I get a single kill. But let's see how we go. You got the GoPro facing you. Oh, oh it hurts, does it? Get ready to go. Go ahead, dump pouch. It's full of darts to reload since it only has one mag with it. Oh, <laughs>
<laughs> I got him. Oh, here. Yeah. Go, me. Yeah, oh, really? Oh, well, my collar. Seems to work out now. I'm happy with that. It's still a Franken blaster, but the externally run copper still working. <laughs> Uh, is that yeah. from the battery itself or to the rest of the blaster? Yeah. So that goes from battery <laughs> out to the rest of the blaster. Motor comes off here, this comes off here. Oh, he got away. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I pray. Didn't Careful. Even hit me, but. <laughs> uh, I can hear that thing going on. I was worried about that guy's eye pro being off. <laughs> Did yours hit me at all? What's that? Yeah, it's not yet, but. <laughs> we traded. Yeah. 